Hello everyone, this is Gurveen here and today we will be talking about the localization support and mocking. So first let us discuss what is localization. So it can be defined as the process of adapting a content or a product to a specific locale or market. Uh, we have also come across the term of translation which is sometimes thought of as a synonym to localization. But that is the process of converting the text from one language to another. So yes, translation is one aspect of localization, but localization in itself is much more extensive. So it also includes customizations with respect to the numeric or date formats, then the use of currency, uh, symbols, text, or the date time and currency conversion, and many more things. So let us see how in Mocky localization is handled. So I've opened the documentation for Mocky framework and this is under the tools and config overview that we have a short introduction to the user facet and the localization facet. So the user facet is the one um, which stores the information about the user. So this information also includes the locale, time zone and currency. So the localization facet provided in Mocky uses this locale from the user facet and localizes the message which it receives from the localized message entity. Now Mocky also provides us uh, for the localization of some of the entity fields using the localized entity field entity. And as we discussed, we also have the provision of uh, the methods which will help us in formatting currency, dates, or the passing methods using the locale as per the user facet. So in this session, we will be uh, seeing the use of the localized message entity. So let us see through an example. So say we have the example application. Now we can see that uh, we have some data here uh, and we can see some column names like we have example ID, the name, type and status being uh, displayed here. So if we have to open up this UI for the users uh, in a different locale or market, then the UI should behave and give the look and feel as per that user's preferred locale. So how we can set up this data? Uh, so let me jump to the IDE. So if we see the example component and we have the example localization data file. So all we need to do is we have to add a record for the localized message entity with the message from the code in the original field. Then we put the desired locale and the translated text in the localized field. So we have the examples here for the example text and the example feature text. We also have one more file that is the common localization data XML file, which is part of the Mocky framework. So here we can see that the localized message records are added for some of the commonly used texts like add, create, find. And we can also see the records of the name text, the status text and the type. So we need to make sure that this original text is the one which is coming from the code. So as we saw the example application, so that was the find example screen and we have the, the columns, the label titles for the status we have for name. So once we have set up this data, we have also loaded this data up and now let us see how the UI behaves. So for the demo purpose, I will just change the locale other than US. Let us change it to French as we have some records added for this language. So if we go back to the UI and refresh, so we can see that the text are changed and it is coming as per the localized uh, data which we added for these which is add already added for these texts, which was name, type, and status. So wherever we have this text coming from the code, we can see that the corresponding localized text is coming up. 
Now there we, we can also have a look at the example where we have the placeholder text in between the messages. So for that, let us have an example where I have added a label with the text as test expansion original and we have a placeholder for displaying the user's locale. Now, if we go back to the example localization data, we have the record for this original text and the locale is only en and then we have a different localized text added here. So now if I again refresh the screen, so we can see that the original text is only coming up. Now this is happening because since the locale is set up as French, so we did not have a matching record for this text. So in that case, only the original text will only come up. So if I change it back, let us set it back to US. Now, if we again refresh the screen, so now we can see that once it was set, set back to the US, now the since it found the matching record, so the localized text can be seen here. So like this, we can see that without adding much code, we can leverage the use of localization in mocking. And there is another way in which we can add the localized messages record. So if we go back to the main screen and if we go inside system menu, we have data admin. And if we go inside the localization messages, so we can see that we have a list of all the records of the localized messages added here. And if we do not want to do it via the data files, we can use the new message option and we can add the original text from the code the locale and the localized message. Then we can also update any of the existing text. We have the update option here. So these are two ways in which you can add the localized message records for your application. So if there is any question, please feel free to comment or you can use the mock mailing list or the Stack Overflow. Thank you.